Guys, Ethereum does not stop. New all-time highs again today as we have reached almost my new breakout target of $1,920 or aka 2K. In Bitcoin, we are watching and patiently waiting as we anticipate the new breakout if we can ju just get right through this little resistance right here then we'll take off to 50. Today we're covering all of this plus of course some trade setups for this weekend so hang on to your hat folks because it's about to go down. Hey, what's up? Jay here and welcome to Bitcoin Daily, bringing you guys the best tips, tutorials and ideas to help you guys become profitable and successful traders. If you guys are new here, the goal of this channel is to empower you guys with the resources and knowledge to take you guys to that next level. So make sure to subscribe, like and turn on that bell notification so you're notified as soon as we put up these new videos so today we're gonna start off with a trade recap from the trades we gave you guys on monday's video then we're gonna go over a bitcoin analysis then we're gonna do an ethereum analysis as it's tearing up the markets to new all-time highs and then of course we're gonna end it with some trade setups for the weekend so make sure guys to stay to the end so you can make some profits this weekend so the first trade that we gave you guys on monday was Bitcoin entry at 35k, right? So we gave you guys the 35,000 breakout. Look at the beautiful breakout right here, guys. Boom. If you guys would have took this entry, look at just look at this beauty, guys. Look at this run up. So there was a lot of consolidation as expected. If you guys were able to remain in the position or continue to buy the breakout after a stop out, then you would have made how much? How much 86 percent profits on this move if you sold that 38,000 and it ran up beyond 38,000 it almost ran up to 39 so i'm only counting to to 38 because that's currently just about where we're at right now in ethereum guys what a run this week i know a lot of you guys were getting impatient with ethereum but i told you guys last week on monday i pointed all these support bounces here out I pointed all these retests up here and I said it was only a matter of time. Guys, it finally happened. Look at that breakout. Beautiful, beautiful breakout, guys. I told you guys that the entries for Ethereum were right here, guys. 1350. Go back and watch Monday's video. I told you guys 1350 was the breakout here for Ethereum. If you would have sold that 1750, guys, that was 148% profits if you use 5x leverage like we did. If for some reason you missed that 1350 entry, it's okay because we gave you guys a second breakout entry for Ethereum. The breakout entry was right above this previous high here, which was 1477. So if you would have entered at 1480 guys and wrote it up to 1750, you would have still done about 91% profit if you use 5x leverage like we did. But no worries guys, because today we have another video and we're gonna give you guys new trade setups for this weekend. So let's rock and roll. Alrighty guys, so the first thing that we're looking at of course is Bitcoin. So let's go ahead and take a look at exactly what's going on here and what we can possibly expect if we get a move to the upside. So right now we're watching and we're right on this Fibonacci level that we've spoken about a million times probably by now, right? That 23.6% Fibonacci zone. As you guys can see here, we've tested this many, many times, right? So we have three tests there. That one is could be a fourth if you want to count it, but let's just put that one all together. So that's four different times that we've approached this zone and have been, you know, rejected. So will we get rejected again this time or is, is it finally time for a different outcome? So as you guys can see here, the other times that we've been rejected, you know, we just kind of got pushed right down, right? So if you guys see on this one, as soon as we got rejected, boom, we got pushed down. This one, we got rejected, boom, pushed down. 
This one rejected, instantly pushed down. But this time, this time is different. We've been rejected, but have we been rejected? Hmm, not really. We're just consolidating there. So we're consolidating on all the, the sell orders that are there. So we're just kind of taking them up, taking them up, taking them up. Once they're all out the way, we're ready to go. So, and if you look at the pattern here, the pattern is your basic bull flag pattern, right? So this is a textbook bull flag pattern here, guys. I'm expecting, you know, consolidation here until we take up all the, we clear out all the sell orders and we retest this $40,000 mark. Now the $40,000 mark is going to be a big whole number. So of course, again, remember market psychology, human psychology, people love whole numbers, right? There's a lot of zeros in this number. So people will love this number. So just like 38 K where we have a lot of sellers currently because of all these previous rejections, right? We will have uh, sellers here at 40 K because it's such a high number. And also we've been rejected there before. Right. So this is kind of what I'm expecting a possible, you know, we have the bull flag, then a possible break out of the bull flag to 40 K and then kind of consolidation here and then continuation up to test the previous all time high. So that's kind of the pattern I'm looking for. So it would be literally another bull flag up to 40 K consolidation and then another uh, impulse move up consolidation, possibly at 42 before taking off right and trying to test that those new those new numbers up there so obviously the goal here is to hit 50k i definitely could see bitcoin hitting 50k sometime soon you know right now it's looking great i was a little bit worried at the beginning of the month due to the way that last month closed but so far february is looking amazing the price action is great everything looks good. So if we do for some reason get rejected here, then you guys already know the Fibonacci levels right here, 38, which is around that 35,000 range. So that 35,000 range, which played, as you guys can see here, a big as a big support, that's going to be the level that we're looking at for a bounce. So that's, that's basically the two levels I'm looking at. If for some reason, because I don't think it would go beyond 35, but you know how Bitcoin is guys. If for any reason we go beyond that then we already know we have this fibonacci level which is that 33 mark and then we have the golden ratio which is right at that 30,000 mark which has held us up like a hero that 30k mark has held us up like sparta right spartans 300 let's go this is sparta let's get back to this so yeah so that's pretty much what i'm looking at this weekend in ethereum if we take a look at this beautiful magnificent creature here in ethereum as you guys can see we finally broke out of here we spoke about the breakout on wednesday and we basically we gave you guys a new target that we were looking for so that target is right around that 1920 zone right and the reason why we the, the way that we got to this number was because we took basically the top of this range and the bottom of this range right we measured that and that gave us this right here right so so according to the theory of technical analysis and and you know when put together with this pattern that's kind of the breakout move that's expected once you have a breakout through here right so you put you put you line it up exactly where the breakout happened and the top of it could be is basically your target for that breakout so that's how we got to that number 1920 now i say if we get to 1920 that's close enough to 2000 so if, if, we, if we're gonna hit uh, 1920 we might as well test 2000 already right we're already we're so close why wouldn't we just go and test it so that's kind of that's what i'm looking for 1920 to 2000 in february is what i'm looking for for ethereum so then it feel like ages ago already since we were at 1300 and that was just on monday it's crazy i love cryptocurrency so guys um as you guys can see here after the breakout we had a bull flag which i posted in my stories 
yesterday on Instagram. So hopefully you guys caught that. And then you can see, boom, look at this beautiful breakout, guys. So we had the breakout to the upside and we went ahead and tested that 1750 area and set a new all time high at 1763. So very excited about that, guys. Basically, we're looking for some more consolidation here, probably between this this new high and 1700 before possibly continuing up to 1800. Then, you know, some possible consolidation, then continuation up some consolidation and then hitting our target. If only that easy, right? All right. So if we scoot up our Fibonacci retracement tool that we hold so dear and love so much right about to that all time high, you'll see that that new area of um, that the next level, if we were to drop down is going to be at that 23.6 Fibonacci zone, which is basically around that 1500 area. So that's kind of the supports that we're looking at. But remember, every whole number, it will also play a role of support. But if for some reason we have any type of pullback action during this weekend, the expected level to pull back to would be this 23.6% level, which is also $1,500. All right, guys, coming up next, we're about to talk about the trade setups that we're watching this weekend to make you guys some profits. So stay tuned, guys. We're almost there. If you found value in this content in today's video, then go ahead and make sure that you guys are subscribed to the channel. Make sure to hit that like button and make sure to drop a comment with any questions that you guys might have and we'll be more than happy to answer you guys. All right, guys, no more talking, no more wasting time. It's time to get into some trade setups for our legendary trades. Let's go. Alrighty guys, so the first trade here on Bitcoin, it's pretty simple. We want to enter on this breakout because we want to be able to ride this up to 40k and we want to ride it to test the new the, the previous all time highs, right? So in order to get there, we need to break out of here. So we're looking for this bull flag pattern for a break there, right? So that's basically what we're looking at. All right, so where would we be looking to enter? So 38K is my level for entry, but there's a lot of consolidation in that area. So you have to be careful with it. You're either gonna need a wide stop, or if you wanna try to play a little bit safer, then you can enter a little bit higher, right? So if you guys don't wanna use a 38K entry, then you can use 38.5K. So 38.5K, it'll be right above this daily high here. And it'll be just under this previous high that we had there, right? So the safest entry for you guys, if you want to stay away from, from this mess, would probably be above 39K. Because if, if we break above this high here and, we, and above 39K, then we're most probably going to test that $40,000, right? So I'm doing 38K. You guys could do whichever one you want, whatever you, however you feel safer. If for any reason we have a pull back down, then you guys already know where I'm entering, guys. 35K, which is this Fibonacci level. That's where I would be looking for an entry. And yeah, that's basically the two entries that I'm looking at in Bitcoin over the weekend. And of course, the other the other breakout entry would be above forty thousand dollars in Ethereum. We're, we're, we're looking for a new breakout above the previous highs, right? So the entries I'm looking at here is going to be above 1750, which is basically right around where that previous high is. Other than that, if we get a pullback, I'm looking for entries at 1700. If we pull back further, then I'll, I'll, I'll be looking for entries down here at that 1600 level. And if we were to pull back to this Fibonacci level, which is around 1500, that's where I'd be looking for another entry. And you guys already know my targets here, 1920 guys, but don't just hold your entire position to try to get to 1920. Make sure it's always taking profits along the way and trailing with your stop loss. That's it, guys. I'm done. I've given you everything I got for this weekend. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. If you did, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Make sure you've already liked this video. And if you have any questions about every, anything that we just covered today, drop it in the comments. I'm always happy to help you guys. I hope you guys have the most amazing weekend ever, guys make massive amounts of profits, and I will see you guys on Monday. As always, peace and love. Happy Friday, guys.